Hey guys, Charlene here. We barely had time to unwind from our last crazy adventure when something else happened. Did you hear about how someone stole some laptops from the school lab? Yeah, everyone's talking about it. They still haven't found the thief. Why are you guys looking at me? We should do something about it. Yeah. No. Aren't you guys tired from the, the last fiasco? You mean when that spaceship crash landed near campus and brought with it those mysterious magic crystals that turned us all into superheroes? You mean that fiasco? Superheroes? Speak for yourselves. Stacy and Mason actually had cool superpowers. They even had a girlfriend boyfriend named together, Stacen, which was not so cool. All I could do is turn into a giant blueberry, in my opinion, also not so cool, unless you're into that sort of thing. I don't want to get mixed up in any more trouble, we're not the cops. No, we're better than the cops, together, we are the ex-teens. Ex-teens, but we're not teenagers anymore. Exactly. We are ex-teens, get it? What? Since there was a lot more valuable equipment left in the lab, Stacy insisted she and Mason sneak in that night to stake it out in case the thief returned. I think I hear something. Freeze. Ditto. Dude, why are your eyes glowing? What the heck? Where do you think you're going? Wow, this seems like overkill for just a petty thief. After Stacy and Mason made short work of the thief, the cops took her away, she spent the night locked up. When she posted bail and got out in the morning, she happened to see us across the way, walking to class with our magic crystals, the source of our power. Last night was awesome, we're the best superhero group ever. Oh, we're a superhero group now? The X-Teens. Stop trying to make that a thing. Did you see how I intimidated her into writing that confession note to campus security and duct tape herself to a chair by just flexing? And Mason, remember when you roared in her face so loud she peed herself? Not really. I don't remember a lot of what happens after I turn wolf. I just know I get super hungry. Is that why you kept wanting to go to the drive through afterward? We went to the drive through Yeah. Well, we didn't drive through, you ran there and we chased you, you really freaked out those poor fast food employees. We didn't realize it at the time, but the thief had been watching us and noticed the special crystals and realized that's where Stacy and Mason must have gotten their powers. Which is why she stole the crystals. <laughs> she did it later, after following us home and waited until we were asleep to break into our home, she was an experienced thief after all. Whoa, this is dope! Emboldened with her new power, she felt so invincible, she even broke into the lab again and took whatever she wanted in broad daylight. And no one could stop her, because she had the power of the crystal which she stole from Stacy. Hey! Who did that? David versus Goliath. Let's go! Hey! Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Now that it was an even match, giantess against giantess, a titan catfight, I was worried for Stacy. Mason! Do something! With both crystals, Mason had absorbed both powers, both werewolf and giant, and he turned into some kind of super werewolf. I am Stazen. Stop trying to make that a thing! I couldn't just stand there doing nothing, I wanted to help somehow, so I did the only thing I could do, the only thing I ever do whenever we find ourselves in a daunting fight.
your reign of terror is over. Reign of terror? I just stole a few laptops. No minimum security campus detention for you. This time we're taking you to jail. I'll admit I sort of surprised myself with how much I was able to help. I guess Stacy was right. We did have useful powers, so why not use them for good? And if we were going to be a group of crime fighters, we might as well have a name. When we bring you to the cops, tell them stays and sent you. No, we're the ex-teens. Stop trying to make that a thing. Guys? A little help? <laughs>